Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignertechtips.com. Well today we're going to create this simple product carousel slider. It's really easy to do. We're using the fantastic Divi Supreme modules plugin for this. If you want to take the Supreme modules for a test drive, you can do so from my affiliate link below this video. So let's get started. First thing I want to do is enable the visual builder. Once enabled, let's go down to where we want to work. And I'm going to get rid of this whole section here and we'll start again. I'm just going to delete that section. And I'm going to add a new section. Little blue button there. I'll make it a regular section. And I'm going to make it a single column. Now Divi comes with all these light grey modules here. If you add the Divi Supreme modules, it adds all these other ones here. I think there's about 40 of them now, or close to it. And I'm going to go for um, a Supreme card carousel. I want to add a new item. And there it is, it's plopped. It's actually only plot one in there, but it's duplicated it for us so we can see what's going on here. And that's kind of like a bootstrap card, really. But we've got a nice badge text, an image, title, text, and a button for calling things to action. So what do I want to call my title here? Now let's put in a subtitle. And I don't want quite that amount of content. Obviously you'd have some pertinent content. I really don't as this is just an example. Let's get rid of that last bit perhaps. And let's go to image and badge down below. For the image start selecting some of our products here now at the moment that is being uh, displayed as the covering you can make it fit if you prefer make it smaller you can make it actual size but for me cover is going to work absolutely fine here image height 240 we can make it a little bit more if you want to That's if you want to show a little bit more perhaps I'm not going to have it uh, open in a light box. What I will do is have it zoom in, which is quite nice for, especially as it's a product image. I don't want it to repeat. And I don't want it to open as a video light box. Now the badge text, let's say reduced. Now the link. I'm going to want this to link to that product. But this is the actual module link, so I think I'll just put that in the button. Or we could put it in both, so if they click on anywhere around here, it'll go to the product, and if they click on the button. So to do that, just go to our products page, select that particular product, which I believe was this. On the view, just right click, copy link address. And let's put our link in. And we want to open it in the same window because it's on the same site. Now let's move on down to the button. And we'll put the same URL in for the button also. And what shall we say for the button? Something like get the deal. Or whatever it is you'd like to put in there. Great, don't need any of that background we could put in a background color let's make it a little bit lighter than that I'm going to use a shade of blue so if we hit the little three dots here it'll give us all these different shades to use here do something like that that's fine okay well let's move on to our design tab 
the image. You can have an overlay if you want to, which is a color that comes in there, but I don't because we've got that zoom effect going on. So I'll leave that as it is. Again, you can give it rounded corners if you wish. I really don't want to do that. I don't want a border either, but if you do, you've got all sides, top, right, bottom, and left, and you can do them individually. So I've got left selected there. If I put in a border, you can see that little border coming in there, but I don't want a border on mine. And there's the color for the border that you can choose there. I will put a little box shadow. It gives it that little shadow under the image. I quite like that. It's an outer shadow, that's fine for me. You could change it to inner, which would sort of appear at the top there, but that really works for sort of text input areas better, I believe. So let's put that as usual. Okay, for the badge itself, you can have it top right, center, left, put it where you want it. Top right works for me, that's absolutely fine. Background color. Well, I've got this sort of hot pink thing going on with this site, so let's use that color. I'll have to find it though. I'm using Google Chrome here, so I can just right click and use the Chrome Inspector to inspect the code. Normally, if I was building a site, I'd have that written down. There we are. I'd have a little text file with my site colors that I'm using. That's fine, so let's just plop that one in there. Now let's go back up to our carousel. There we go. Okay. And we were on the badge text. We want to actually got the background color in there. Let's make the badge text white so we can see it. And let's add a bit more padding. I want it a bit taller, so let's say put 10 pixels. Just put in the 10, it'll put in the pixels for you. Hit the chain, it'll do the bottom. That's better. And let's have that capitalized. That's fine. We can add a bit of text shadow that will actually make it highlight a little bit more. There we go. And let's also put a bit of box shadow on the badge itself. Fantastic. If you don't want those rounded corners, at the moment it's got 50, just put that to zero. And you'll have square corners. If you've got the chain, it'll do all four at once for you. I quite like that uh, rounded, so I'll leave mine at 50 or 51 even. All right, I think we're done with our badge there. Only thing, let's go down to our title text. You can change the font. Divi comes with a huge amount of fonts to choose from, but I'm going to leave mine just as it is. I'm going to make it semi bold so it stands out a little bit more. Uh, don't want to capitalize it, I don't think. We'll make sure it's black, which is fine. Don't want any text shadow. Body text as well, I'll make that black so it stands out better against the blue there. And we've got our little subhead text there. Again, I'm going to make it black and just semi bold, I think. Fantastic. Great. Let's go on down to our button. Button alignment. We can change all this in a minute globally if we want to. I'll show you how to do that in just a second. Spacing's fine. I actually want to use custom styles because I'm going to make it that hot pink color. Text color I'm going to make white. Button background I'm going to make that hot pink. And I'm going to have no border. Just take that up a bit, now take it down, and the border will disappear. But let's have that button a different color on hover. So let's just go up to where it says button background in the dark there, hit the little arrow. It'll give us a desktop or non-hover state, and a hover, which obviously is hover state. For the hover, let's make it blue. It's fine, the desktop will leave as it is. And last but not least, I don't want to show a button icon. When you roll over it, that little icon appears. If you want to do that, that's fine. There's a huge amount of icons to choose from, from the elegance themes there. But I don't want that happening. So I'm going to flip that to yes to no. 
and there we go that stops that could have a bit of text shadow make that text stand out a little bit more and a little bit of box shadow so that's good we're pretty pretty well there I'm just gonna put a bit of box shadow around the whole thing and you're gonna notice when I put this on it's done it to the sort of right hand side of it but you can't see it below and that's because we actually need to give these modules a little bit of padding so let's save this we're in the actual individual card itself at the moment let's go back to our main module let's go down to design we'll give it a little bit more space in spacing let's give it a, say 30 pixels top and bottom we should be able to see that shadow then 30 hit the chain there we go we can see that shadow happening on the bottom there I prefer it that way okay great now what I was saying before you can change globally if you've got a bunch of cards change the design style here in the main card settings for instance the text if we wanted it all to be centralized you could just hit that one right there that's just another option great so let's go back to our content what I'll do is I'll pause and I'll create another six or so exactly the same way what I'm going to do is clone the first one change the image and change the link I'm not going to change any text there that's entirely up to you though so I'll do that and I'll be right back and we'll continue okay I've just uh, put in the last one there we've now got six different ones we can go down to carousel settings so we've got slide going on here at the moment which is great we'll be covering cover flow flip and cube in different videos here centered mode will leave one always in the middle here but usually works better on cover flow number of slides to show obviously you can put it to whatever you want there three works fine for me but have it how you wish to have it slides to scroll always scrolling one at a time at the moment for me you can put it two at a time or whatever you want but for me one works perfectly and at the moment it's taking three hundredths of a second to get there you can make it uh, 750 milliseconds will make it take a little bit longer obviously that's quite nice actually put it how you want it autoplay that means it's playing automatically which is what we want here you can change the time interval it's changing every three seconds there or 3000 milliseconds that works for me pause on hover at the moment it's just going to keep rolling when you hover over it so I'm going to have mine pause on hover so when people put their mouse over it it will stop it gives them time to look at the picture and read the text and what have you spacing wise this is the spacing between the actual slides themselves obviously for me 15 works absolutely fine but there's an option to change it how you wish there infinite looping yep you want it to go round and round and round if you turn that off it'll get to the last one and stop if you've got different amounts of text in here which quite often you have you want to flip equal height to on, on that will make sure that they're all the same height now we want to show our arrows and I also want to show the pagination which are the little dots at the bottom use the grab cursor that means when you go over it it changes from a mouse cursor to that little hand you see there it's great well we've done the background we've got a blue color in our initial one so we don't need to change anything there admin label is what you see it called inside the wireframe builder here as you can see it's just called supreme card carousel at the moment you can change it to whatever you want if you've got a lot of items that are similar on the page it's a good idea to actually change this so you can find it quicker in wireframe mode but for most instances you can leave that alone let's go back to our desktop view so we're pretty much done there the only thing is I'm going to give it a gradient background on the actual section itself 
the blue tab for the section. I'm going to go down the background. I'm going to put in a gradient. You've got color, gradient, image, or video. I'm going to put in a gradient. Puts one in by default. I'm just going to change that green for my hot pink color. There we go. And we're done. Save our draft. And exit the visual builder. And go down and take a look, see what we've got here. There we are. Here's a simple product slider using the Divi Supreme modules. Really effective. I think that's going to work out nicely. And of course, when you click on the button, it's going to take us to the product. And there we go. Well, I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please ring the bell, give it a thumbs up, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.